Hi folks, uh, frequently if you have to build a home or you have a home, the type of sewer connection that you have or the type of sewer connection you have to build uh, can, can have a great cost variation. So I want to give you some really good information on what a sewer riser is. Um, it is the most expensive type of connection to build and you would think why would a piece of pipe maybe three to six feet long cost ten to fifteen thousand dollars and I'm going to explain that to you. I'm going to explain why you would need a house sewer riser connection and why it is so costly. So first of all, if this is ground level and this is your home, this is your basement. A sewer is allowed to be built with a certain degree of pitch. Usually one to two to one to four in pitch. However, if the sewer in the street is extremely deep, say you are about seven feet deep here, but the sewer itself is 16 feet deep, you are not allowed to build your sewer connection with that much pitch. It goes against code and it goes against good plumbing practices. So what has to happen is you have to build a riser connection. First of all, because the sewer is so deep, it may take a day or two just to dig down to expose the whole entire pipe. The next step, it has to be completely encased in concrete. So it has to be excavated completely around. Rebar has to be laid on the bottom. Ready mix concrete comes in and the concrete gets poured to encase it. Now this, this in itself could take two or three days. After the concrete cures, a cordial penetration has to be made through the concrete and through the city sewer, typically a riser connection itself is eight inch pipe. The house sewer would be six inch pipe. The city sewer could be 18 inch, could be 12 inch, could be larger than that, but the process would essentially remain the same. So after the cordial penetration is made, then your pipe is added in sections to the elevation that meets code, which is typically about 12 feet deep. After the pipe is installed, it has to also be encased in concrete with rebar. So a form is put in around this pipe, and then more ready mix is added to encase it in concrete. On top of this is typically a Y. The Y part is your connection. The top is used as a clean out. If the riser were ever to be clogged, there's a way to clean it out. Of course, it's going to be backfilled and buried. And then that would be the connection that you would connect to. Now, a typical house sewer we're speaking about in New York City to install it new might take three days. But if you have to build a riser, that's, that's an additional three days of work. And that is ten to $15,000. Um, and if a riser can be avoided for any reason, Again, that's your most expensive type of connection. Every other connection is much less expensive. In other videos, I'll explain other connection types. I hope that helps you out there. Thank you.